Hi everyone, Scott Lewis here for Wirefly. Today I'm here to bring you a cell phone smackdown between the brand new Windows Phone 8 operating system and the Android operating system 4.1.1, better known as Jelly Bean. Now in today's smackdown we're going to be comparing the operating system, not the phones, but just so you know what phones we have, we have the Galaxy Nexus for Sprint and the Nokia Lumia 822 for Verizon. So let's go ahead and jump into round one. Round one is going to be about customization of the Android and Windows Phone 8 operating systems. So I picked customization to be the first round because it's very important to a lot of smartphone users right now. And it's the main reason that most people chose their Android device in the first place. And some new features of the new Windows Phone 8 operating system have really focused on that. As you can see on our Windows Phone, we have small, medium, and large size tiles. And that is something that you can customize. So if you want to choose and make your calendar smaller, simply press and hold and you'll get the unpin and adjustment arrows. We'll go ahead and hit the adjustment arrow and it's going to make it the medium size tile. We hit it again, it's going to make it the small size tile. Or we can go back to the large size tile. If you wanted to change a different one, you would just tap on that particular one. And once again, you can change it from the different sizes. With the Windows Phone 8 operating system, you also have live tiles, which are similar to widgets on your Android device. You can see my People Hub right here, or my weather tile, as well as photos, will constantly rotate and update. It makes it easy to keep in touch with some of your information. Like I said, it's very similar to a widget on your Android phone. Now with your Android phone, you do have choices as far as the size of your widgets as well. So right here we have a Google Plus widget, and if we press and hold, you'll see that it comes up with our little dots so that we can make it small, medium, or large. So that's our large, that's our medium, and that would be our small size widget. Another part of customization would be just your normal customization. You have the wallpaper and then the background, the white background on the Windows Phone 8 is uh, something that you can change from white to black if you like a darker background than the white. And you can also change the color of the tiles on the Windows Phone 8. Now, Android phones have all kinds of different wallpapers. You can use anything from your regular picture gallery. They have preset wallpapers and even live wallpapers. So wallpapers that move, the live wallpapers take up a little bit more battery life. But if you like, once again, to customize your phone, you can download additional ones from the Google Play Store. One of the other basic features that you can customize is the ringtone or alert tone. Both phones will come with a selection of ringtones and alert tones. You can always download additional from the Google Play Store or the App Marketplace. Now that wraps up our customization round. One thing I wanted to touch on real quick, though, is there is the ability to root both of these phones to remove some of the limitations that the manufacturer puts on the software. That's not something I recommend for the average smartphone user, but if you're looking to increase performance or do any kind of custom ROMs, both phones will be able to do that. With that being said, the round one winner is going to be Android. Round one really boils down to the difference between widgets and live tiles and which one you like better. I like the selection of widgets that are available a little bit better than the options for live tiles, and it's a little easier to search for them versus trying to search for live tiles. So that wraps up round one. Let's go ahead and move into round two. Round two is going to be about navigation of the two operating systems. Now most people are familiar with the Android operating system which uses pages that you can scroll through. You can lay down the different widgets and applications as you scroll through. Where the Windows operating system is an up and down scroll. So you scroll right through the different applications. And then to get to your list of applications for the Windows phone you're going to slide over and this is going to be every application that's on the phone. With the Android operating system we'll hit the center button here. It's going to take us to our app tray and we're going to go ahead and scroll through the different pages of applications. Now my preference is on the page style notification versus the list. So the up and down you just keep scrolling through. Now I like the, the page view better. Now when navigating and trying to find out information on your phone, I think the Android operating system has a big benefit over the Windows. It has the notification center that you can pull down. It will display things like unread email, text messages, and other alerts. The Windows Phone 8 does not have a notification center. It was something that they were talking about in the original development, but for one reason or another, it didn't make it onto the final version of the operating system. You never know if that might make it into a future update for the Windows operating system. So if that's an important feature for you, make sure to keep an eye on the Windows Phone 8 website. There's one feature that did make it into the Windows Phone 8 operating system that I really like. I have two small children, and very often I'll hand them my phone to make sure that they're entertained if we're in line someplace or we're on a long car trip. So the Windows Phone 8 operating system has something called Kids Corner. You're going to swipe across and then you'll swipe up. Essentially, it's adding a second user profile to the phone. So you can see we have some music on there, some different games that you let them access. The benefit to the Kids Corner is that they only have access to the applications that you select. So the benefit is they won't accidentally send a crazy text message to a coworker or accidentally call your boss. So I think the Kids Corner is a very nice feature. And then to get out of it, you're just going to hit the lock button again to make it go to sleep. You'll wake it back up, and you'll slide to open. 
and then by entering your password, you have the full operating system available to you. So it's going to go ahead and wrap up round two, the navigation round. And for me, this round's a draw because there's some different features that are available on both phones that you really need to decide which one is right for you. Do you think you would benefit most from the notification center or the kids corner option on the Windows Phone 8? And then the other thing you need to think about is, do you like a side-to-side -side swipe view with different pages for different applications? Or do you want them all on one list that you can scroll right through? So with round two of draw, round three is going to be very important. With round three, we're going to cover applications for the Windows Phone and Android Phone. There's a big difference between the amount of applications that are available for Windows Phone and Android Phones. The Google Play Store has more than 600,000 applications available, where the Windows Phone Store has a little under 150,000 applications available. Both phones have a similar search experience, and they also display the search results in a very similar way. You see it's in a list view with some ratings as well as price if there's price. The benefit that you get with the Windows Phone is that it has a try option. So if you go into Angry Birds here, which costs 99 cents, you can actually try it before you buy it. So I think that's a very nice option, so you can try out a game or an application to see if it actually works and does what it says it's supposed to do. Another benefit that the Windows Phone has over the Android Phone is that it has Microsoft Office integration. So you can actually open Microsoft Office here, pull up files, and edit them right on the phone. Now there are applications that will do that for you in Android, and you can download the viewer for free, but it'll cost you around $15 to get an application that will allow you to edit those files. Another application that the Windows Phone has integrated into it, it has Xbox integration, so you can actually pull up your games, it'll have your avatar, and you can actually play versions of games that are specifically made for your Windows Phone that sometimes have special boards or features that aren't in the original game. Now that being said, because of the big discrepancy in applications, sometimes you don't get the applications that you want with a Windows Phone. An example of that would be right now, as of this video, there's not a Pinterest application available for Windows Phone 8. You'll have some third-party applications available, but nothing officially from Pinterest. So that wraps up round three. While I think the Office integration and the Try It option are great benefits to the Windows Phone operating system, the sheer amount of applications that you can get with your Android phone and the fact that you get all the high-profile applications gives the benefit or the round to the Android phone. So our round three winner is the Android phone. And that means our overall SmackDown winner today is going to be the Android phone. I think the Windows Phone 8 operating system is a very good operating system. It might be a good intermediate step between an iPhone to an Android phone. It's very intuitive and very easy to use, and it might lend itself to a first-time smartphone user a little bit better than an Android phone. That wraps up our SmackDown today. One thing to keep in mind, though, is if you're looking for a Windows phone or an Android phone, make sure to check out Wirefly.com. We have a great selection on both operating systems at great prices. Like always, make sure to leave your comments here on our Wirefly YouTube channel, and if you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. My name is Scott Lewis for Wirefly. Thanks for watching.